Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today I have a custom tactic to show you guys. It is going to be from Air Japes. I'm going to be leaving a link uh, to his Twitter account because Japes doesn't really post to YouTube that much anymore, I don't think. But when I tell you guys that this guy is probably the best guy to follow for custom tactics when it comes to you not caring about being a pro player and playing these meta ratty tactics, right? These, oh, I found a glitch here and there. No, we're talking about really authentic football oriented tactics that play well in the meta of the game because of specific things being added here and there, okay? So this tactic, guys, is going to be for the 3-4-1-2. I know, weird formation, right? Guys, this formation, you know, I was trying it out because I was like, okay, I have to do a review for Kimpembe. You can obviously see that I have Koz on the team now because I sold Kimpembe because we're done the review. But he was in the squad. We were reviewing the card while trying to score goals to review the formation. So a nice little double whammy there, right? But guys, this formation is so interesting because of the way that he lines it up with certain tactics and how it works in the meta of the game, okay? So with the custom tactics, you guys are going to see right here that it is set to pressure on heavy touch, which by the way, I love by default because balance is so boring. I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. Like it's just, it's really, really boring to defend with. Uh, 45 for width, 50 for depth, balance on the buildup play, direct passing. Guys, listen, in the beginning of the game, when the buildup play was like a certain way, I really didn't like direct passing. I think when I did my tactic videos in the beginning, I was like, this don't work, you know, like I just don't like it. It just doesn't really work that well because it's, it felt so linear in regards to how the players moved across the pitch. But with a combination of different instructions and the types of players that you have in the team, it actually works out really nicely now. So the width is on 55 and then the players in the box is set to four. From what you guys see right here, I already like this, okay? This is stuff that I'm comfortable with. Every single area, pressure on heavy touch so that players actually move and then direct passing fits the meta of the game instructions check this out okay the center backs so the center back in the middle is untouched the left center back and the right center back is on overlap step up now i want you guys to see the instructions and what they actually say for each instruction so make overlapping runs on the outside okay and it also says step up and mark op opposing attackers tighter when they are free to receive a pass do you know why this works out so well because he's so smart. Japes is a, is a genius, okay? Both of the center mids in this team is on stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross. Do you notice how I do not put cover center on them? Because cover wing is gonna cover what the defenders are doing by pushing forward, but you still have an incredible defensive presence in the midfield because of players like Guendouzi and our chill in that general area. When you attack, you know, if you have stay on the edge of the box for the cross, they're not really going to commit inside the 18 yard box that often. So when it comes to defending, and here's the interesting thing, right? You lose the ball, but if the player does a bad touch, pressure on heavy touch, players apply pressure right away. And your two midfielders will apply that pressure while your left center back and right center back apply pressure. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, you know what? Like, this is actually really smart. Uh, left mids and right mids on comeback and defense. Uh, the cam is on stay forward, get into the box for the cross. And then the two strikers are on stay forward, get in behind. Guys, this tactic, this instruction is going to make you guys have fun in this game. I'm telling you, okay? Because the thing that I try to, te uh, try to teach people all the time is that, listen, you can play FIFA to play to win, right? But you can play FIFA to play to win to have fun. Does that make sense? Because this formation, don't get me wrong, it strays away from the meta in regards to defense in certain areas of the pitch, okay? It definitely does. But if you practice it and you get good at it, you actually feel rewarded for using this formation because you actually kind of have to understand manual defending. Manual defending in FIFA 22 is awful. Don't get me wrong, okay? It's, it's mostly AI stuff. Like I literally switch off players before I go close to the player so that I make sure that I second man press so that he gets it. Like that's how bad manual defending is, right? But this formation kind of makes you feel rewarded when you're manually defending, which is really fun to me. Like using a card like Winduzi and Al War in this team is awesome, okay? The types of players that you're gonna wanna have for this team, obviously you wanna have meta as much as possible, but you could see in my team, I know that you guys, you guys are looking at like, this is a really ratty meta team, but trust me, it can get higher than this, right? 
In the left mid, right mid position, you want to try your best to have players that can attack and defend. So a card like Awar, uh, a card like Vasquez, right? Very good cards to have that are versatile. And the reason why it's so good that they're versatile is because, let's just say for instance, because I never got to this because today was a, kind of a stressful day because the power went out, right? But let's just say for instance, I do a Ronaldo Sanchez review, right? All I would have to do is take out a Cardi, put Ronaldo Sanchez there, Ronaldo Sanchez is going to play in the midfield with Guendouzi. Awar, because he can attack and defend, I'll use him in the side positions. Now, yes, I still have Jelson Martins in the team, but guess what? Jelson Martins has a high, high work rate. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So, you know, in a perfect world, if you can put Hakimi on one side and Alfonso Davies, the, the rule breakers, record breakers, no rule breakers, I think it's rule breakers, that card that can be played as a CDM, the center mid, whatever, would be perfect in that left mid position. But you could also work with someone who is high, high work rate, someone that pushes forward and comes back. You can see Jelson doesn't have crazy defensive stats, but he has the high defensive work rates. And then guys, in the attack, I always tell you guys, this is why we do reviews, this is why we check out the attacking air of the players. You guys know that flashback Benzema, yeah, you gotta work with dribbling, yeah, you gotta work with passing from time to time, right? But his attacking AI is, honestly, for me, it's the best in the game. I I, I, lit I literally never see someone move just as well as he does, unless it's Mbappe, Mbappe is really good too, right? But flashback Benzema has insane attacking AI, and it's so noticeable, like when I did the review, I was like, oh my goodness, I'd never, I've never seen a card that moves like this, okay? The other things that you have to compensate for, it is what it is, you know, a Cardi. So as you guys know from the review, he, he's kind of like target man oriented and then push forward. So I really have fun. I like, I have a ton of fun using Benzema and a Cardi up top because on both of them with stay four getting behind, they still play to base characteristics, right? So it's really, really interesting the way that they kind of play on the pitch, the way that a Cardi can set up, set up the other players, but Benzema, whew. This guy on the get and behind with his crazy attacking AI. My goodness, right? And then the cam, stay forward, get into the box. They get involved in the attack, right? But not only do they get involved in the attack, guys, they set up perfectly so that you could do that direct passing tactic to them, pass it off to other players, so on and so forth. For me personally, I think Fakir's attacking AI in the cam position is a demon, okay? For me personally, uh, because Neymar has more of this like physical feel to him, like I mentioned to you guys in the review, I still love using him in the camp position. You guys are going to see in the in the actual highlights. But Fakir, he offers something a little bit different for me. But guys, am I going to use Fakir for the whole game? No, I'm trying to have some fun. You know, flashback Neymar is good enough for the meta of the game. Very solid card. He's going to be used. Play him in the cam position. Icardi bends him up top. Beautiful stuff, right? So guys, this tactic, this formation, I'm going to be honest. I, I was mentioning in the Kempempe review. It literally makes me have fun with this game, okay? It's this formation and the 4-1-2-2. Two, two. But because this formation is manual in certain areas, you have width, but you also have a narrow play, that's what makes it fun, okay? You can see in this case right now, we're using Hakimi in the left uh, mid position and Jelson in the right mid position. But as you guys know, work with what you have, right? Hakimi still has a good weak foot. So the fact that he has the good weak foot makes me, you know, able to use him in that area. If he had like a five-star weak foot, it'd be great, but you can't go wrong for a team that is essentially full first owner, except for Delane, which I bought super early, right? 108K, I think he's like 200K now. And then Donnarumma's rare gold card, because I don't know about you guys, team of the year Donnarumma I tried, terrible card. And maybe they adjusted it afterwards because they do that sometimes with goalkeepers uh, because of the patch, but the team of the year I didn't like. So we have the rare gold, which is cool. Whatever, I have two cards bought. The rest of it isn't, right? So uh, very good stuff there. But guys, listen, I'm going to show you guys the highlights. I just want you guys to see how my players move on the pitch. You want to try your best to have as much meta as possible, to have players that can, you know, push forward and come back really nicely, you know, especially with the two center mids. Guendouzi is really good, okay? Awar is really good. So you want to try to have these types of players in the midfield position. Renato Sanchez... Fofana, Lucas Paqueta. Um, I mean, to be fair, I could use this Verratti card, but Verratti doesn't have the height for the meta of the game. And if he doesn't have the height, he's got to be someone like Awar, who has like a great attacking presence when pushing forward. Guys, you guys are going to see, even though I have stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box, he actually scores a goal. Why? Because acts against the work rates, high, medium. He'll push forward from time to time, right? So, guys. This is my favorite tactic I've used so far this year. Age, Air Japes is an absolute beast, okay? Beast. 
I followed three or four of his tactics over the last couple of years, and they're all authentic, meta, fun, and amazing. I don't know how I don't know how else to explain it to you guys. Like they're they're just so much like you will enjoy the game because it's not like like the, uh, listen, I showed you guys the 442, and the 442 is good. It's good for the meta of the game, but it's so boring to play, okay? It is so boring. There's nothing unique in regards to movements. Like in the first game of me reviewing Kempepe, I was like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm getting the feel of like the movement of the players, and it was fun. I was I saw it and I'm like, okay, now I get it, you know? So, guys, enjoy the highlights. Once you guys see the, all the highlights, we'll talk about it at the end. Oh man, every time James had like new tactics, I always wanted to try it out. There was one year where he gave me a 4-3-3, and the 4-3-3 was so sick to work with, man. Yo, this tactic, like, it feels very unique to use. Like, I, I have to get used to the defending, though. The defending I'm all over the place with right now, but... The attack is awesome, man. Oh, that would have been a good play, too. I messed that up with the shot. Oh, what a goal, man. What a goal, beauty. I'm getting the hang of the formation now, man. I I'm, I'm starting to see the patterns of play and stuff. The defense I do have to get used to, though. You see how the direct passing tactic, it literally suits the meta of the game? Because, first of all, if you have a player like Benzema who has crazy attacking AI, right? With a direct passing tactic, he's going to understand the space so well when I do the small dribbles with someone like a Cardi and stuff, you know? Beauty of a pass. We'll take that. Got to go for that consistency. What a pass by Kempembe there. Beauty. <laughs> That's just the meta in this game, eh? <laughs> it's so glitchy. The five-star skillers to be able to do that is nuts, man. What a goal, man. The pressure that this, like, tactic puts on the opposition players is nuts, man. Oh, almost. Almost, man. Oh, let's go, man. Ooh, this guy's playing ratty, but I love it when we score goals. I love it. Look at this. Every little thing, bro. It's gonna be all right. Oh, that would have been a beautiful play, man. That would have been a beautiful play. Oh, come on, man. Dude, the passing plays in this formation, like the way that the players open up, like I would say that for this team, guys, I'm using three or four wrong players for it. And it's still working out really well. Like I know exactly who players are that are not the right fit for it but even still just fantastic man oh compempe like just that stretch just i love you i really do man oh 
Let's go. Man, just the way that the pitch opens up for these guys is just phenomenal, man. Aw, oh, dude, this formation, this formation allows you to play football, eh? It really does, dude. It, it allows you to play football. It's fantastic, man. You know what I've noticed I do a lot? And I can't help it because it just happens. Uh, I say man a lot at the end of my sentences, you know? I, I, I feel like it happens when I get, like, really hyped, you know? It's, you know, and man, I just did. I, it's like I watched too much Naruto. He says something at the end, and I got to say it every every single sentence. I don't know why. I just got I just have to. Dude, Benzema's attacking AI. Like, I can't. I literally can't with his attacking AI. It's so, like, good, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, dude. Just give me the ball, bro. Just give it to me. Give it to me. Gotta be a pen, right? Okay. I was about to say, my G. My G? I was about to say, my G. Where's Lord Kempembe? Lord Pembe, where are you? 62, Lord Pembe. Well, I hit this. Lord Pembe with the penalty. We make those work. We make those work, baby. Oh my, I, that was awful defending by me and Lord Penbe to the rescue yet again. Dude, do you guys, did you guys just see that? Did you see how sick that was, dude? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, we move, lads. We move. Okay. She make it clap, bro. She make it clap. The seven wasn't enough. It was the eight that was. That's the kicker right there. Japes, man. I don't know. You you just have you just have like I don't know. You have like wizard powers, man. You have wizard powers. Like the defending is like the only thing that's like a little bit off. But it's not actually off. It's more me having to adjust to it. You know what I'm saying? But it's so good, man. If I say man, one more, like. No wonder you guys write in my comment section, you guys hate my guts. The guys who don't watch me that often, they're like, who is this guy? Why does he keep saying this at the end? What's wrong with him? Does he not know other words? Sheesh. Oh, let's go, man. Gotta wait for that track back every time, bro. Gotta wait for that track back. Oh, I baited that so hard. I baited that so hard, man. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Ooh, what information? What information? I, I, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. I've done so many reviews and I don't often play regular FIFA. I played regular FIFA for the first time in a while doing the Kampembe review. And I was like, wow, like I'm I'm enjoying myself. Like, this is fun. Like, I actually can play like authentic football and see different passing plays happening before they even happen. And it's like fun, you know, it's fun. Yeah, you have to adapt to the way the defense is for sure. I'm not going to say that you don't. Right. But when you practice it and you get good at it, you feel rewarded, you know. So, guys. 
Check out this tactic, use this formation. Eric Japes is a monster. Be sure to follow him on Twitter. I'm going to leave a link in the description in the comment section. Please check it out because incredible tactics. It made me have fun with the game, honestly. It was this and the 4-1-2-2. Two, two. The 4-4-2 four, four, is good, but it's so boring. But this formation, man, wow. So, so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.